This is the Sol 20 system bus probe that I designed. It has address bus on the top, data bus on the right, system status bus on the left 8 bits, and an auxiliary bus here that you can wire to just about any of the extra signals that you want to. This area over here is the single step function, allows you to stop the program and single step through it. The section in here is where you can set a hardware breakpoint in your software so that when it detects that address, it will stop the bus for single step mode. This next demonstration is uh, just simply what the, what the system looks like as I execute a program. The, what I'm going to execute is the save to cassette routine and you'll see it go through its uh, steps as I execute this. Okay. I'll first demonstrate the run, stop, single step feature of this board. There are three buttons here for controlling run, stop, single step. When you press run it runs, when you press the middle button it stops, when you press the right button it will single step through the program. Go back and press run, it will continue where it left off. You can see the program, when I hit the clear key, you can see the address bus switch as it executes the clear function. This next uh, demonstration is the operation of the breakpoint. I've set the breakpoint address here to the dump command which is at C3BF in the Solos and if you have the Solos um, code you can follow this through but the first uh, instruction that it gets will be a call to another address so we can see that when I execute dump. Dump stops the processor uh, the first data byte in the uh, system is CD followed by 3A followed by C3. Now it's going to do the call to the next address and so you'll see the address change quite a bit and then we can single step through the rest of the routine and there's a lot of calls involved here so the address hops around but if you follow it in the Solos code you'll see that everything is absolutely correct here. And then you can go back and continue the dump by pressing the run stop and it goes back into run mode. I have tested this on the Sol 20 system that it's hooked up to now. It uses basically the X-Ready line, any system that has the X-Ready line um, this will probably work well for. Uh, it uses only the S100 bus signals. It also includes a run signal so it, it will probably work fine in the MSI although the MSI already has a front panel so you probably wouldn't need it for that but um, I suspect it works for all S100 systems that use the X-Ready line, but it has been tested only with the Sol. In summary, this is the Sol 20 system bus probe that I designed for debugging the Sol 20 and Sol 20 code. Address bus, data bus, S100 status bus, and auxiliary bus. This auxiliary bus is can be user configured. It's wired to some jumper, wire wrap jumpers down here. It is currently set up by default if you apply the jumpers to be the vector interrupt lines but you can pull the jumpers off and wire it to run, stop, or whatever other functions you want to to make these LEDs be whatever you want. In this section here we have the single step control run, stop, single step works well. In, in this section we have the hardware breakpoint. You set a software address and the system will stop and you can single step it. 